Welcome back to another learning Roblox in two minutes. In today's video, we're going to take a look at variables. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by making our first variable. In Roblox, we're gonna start with the word local. After the word local will be the variable's name, and it doesn't really matter what you choose for your variable's name. I would suggest though that you choose something that makes sense. So in our case, I'm just gonna say VAR, which is short for variable. And then after the name of the variable will be an equal sign. On the right side of the equal sign will be whatever information that you wanna store. There's some different things that you can store inside variables. One of those is called a string and that's a word inside of quotation marks. You can also store numbers like this here. In addition to strings, you can also store part references, which we talked about in the prior video. You can also store objects inside of variables, and don't worry about this too much for now. We're gonna do a separate video on instance.new. And finally, you can store different parts of the Explorer menu. So in this case, we made a variable for the server storage by saying game.serverStorage. All right, and now we're gonna take a look at a few ways that we might use variables. So in this case, we're storing a part reference for this part right here inside of the variable. Later on, what we can do in the script is we can reference the variable and then any property of the part that we want to. So in this case, we're changing the transparency of the part. And down here, we would be changing the name. You can use these two lines right here to do the same thing, but hopefully you can see by using a variable at the top here, we're able to shorten our code a little bit and make it a lot cleaner. And finally, we're gonna take a look at some different ways that we can write variables. So in the first case here, we just have a variable as a single word. In the second case here, our variable name has two words in it. And just to make it a little bit more readable, what we do is we capitalize the second word. In the third case here, we also have a variable name with two words. But instead of capitalizing the second word, we use a underscore in between them. And finally, we have an example of what you can't do. And that's have a variable name with a space in between. So this one is not allowed, but you can choose any of the other options according to your taste. Alright, so that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.